welcome back to another hike it's been a while this is actually my first hike back after being somewhat out of action i was walking down the path from stickle tarn one night in early february cam and i had just crossed the stepping stones over the river i'd lifted him down the little scramble section and had walked carefully through all the rocks with my head torch lighting the way and quite literally, the moment I reached the first flat, even and unrocky part of the path, I rolled over on my ankle and I fully stacked it with my wild camping rucksack on. I had about a kilometre left to hobble down on and then drive home. And I really thought I would be back out within a couple of weeks, but that was me for the next three months on pause. But it did mean that I actually got around to editing that first video. I hope you have had a good spring season and have been enjoying all the extra light and warmth we've been having. I can't believe midsummer is just around the corner. A historical highlight along the walking route, the old pack horse bridge called Lynn Cove Bridge, is the oldest crossing on the River Esk. Having just crossed this, we'll shortly have to find our own way across the river to leave the valley and head up to the waterfalls. You'll have already seen this route started with the drive along Cardinal Pass, an ancient route wending its way through the fells. The name comes from Old Norse, meaning hard, craggy hill. The Roman fort you pass along the way was founded under Hadrian's reign in the 2nd century, commanding the pass between forts in Ambleside and Kendal with a coastal raven glass. It was demilitarised and then re-garrisoned under Marcus Aurelius before finally being abandoned in the 3rd century but the footsteps, of course, continued. And this is one of the things I love most about the Lake District. There are so many historical sites perched in high and remote areas. From ancient Neolithic mines to Roman forts to inns or taverns that have fed and sheltered travellers for hundreds and hundreds of years. You can't even begin to imagine all of the stories and struggles that have played out here against the backdrop of the fowls. We scrambled up the rocks to keep close to the falls. It was an interesting path to get up to the shoulder, and by that I mean non-visible path. I didn't really film that section as it was just hard work, but well worth it for the pitch just below Scarfell.
through Estelle was a little premature, but I just had to get back out and be in the fowls. And I wanted to wake up somewhere inspiring on my birthday. Thanks to Ryan for planning this one. I hope you enjoy coming along on this hike and water camp. I'm still struggling with microphone issues, but I hope to be able to speak to you in the next one while actually out and about. It may be a wild swim or perhaps a horseshoe route. I have a few things planned, so we'll see. Until then, I hope you enjoy your adventures. Let me know if you have anything planned in the comments or anywhere you'd like me to capture for you in the lakes. Thanks so much to those who have subscribed to my channel. I will endeavour to shoot more regularly going forward, so do subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you.